Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am today I'm just going to be doing a body shop haul and demonstration. This is the final look. I am using all of the products or most of the products that I bought today. Um, so if you'd like to continue to see the haul, just keep watching and let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, um, I'm going to show you the spot treatment. So this is the tea tree spot, tea tree oil spot treatment. Looks like this. Um, and this is what you would put on your spots. So you just get a little Q-tip and just dab it on anywhere that has spots. Um, this was, I think, $9 or something like that. And I love it. It's great. It, kill, it really reduces the redness in the spot. And within like a day or so, it is so much smaller. I really, really like this. The next non makeup -y type product that I got is the Perfume Oil in Japanese Cherry Blossom looks like this and it's literally it looks it's really strange so what it is it's a little jar and it's an oil so when you put it on the smell is going to last a lot longer than your regular perfumes and it's going to stick to your skin so what it is is the little like applicator that looks like this and you would just go like so and that smell will last all day now that oh I'll be able to smell that all day um, put it on your wrist, put it behind your ears, all that sort of stuff is beautiful. I did get the Japanese Cherry Blossom uh, one. They did have a number of them. There was about eight to choose from. And this was just the smell that I liked the best out of all the ones they had to choose from. So, let's get on to the makeup side of things. I bought two BB creams because I have a problem. The first one is the All-in-One Color Adapting Tinted BB Cream. Looks like this. And it is in the shade 00. Um, now, this is normally... $23 I think and I got it for $15.95 because they have bought out a new one which I'll show you next. Um, so this is a really um, strange concept. It comes out basically white. It's very liquidy. comes out basically white and then once you put it on your skin it adapts to your skin. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to use a very small amount. Now this only has very light coverage and then I'm just going to use a kabuki brush to blend it out. I would say this has very light coverage. And so I would definitely use this on good skin days when I'm not having a lot of breakouts or with a concealer. Which I did buy two concealers and I'll get to those next. So this one, as you can see, just gives a really light coverage, really blends out nicely, but it's not white. So it does blend out into your skin tone. Um, they do have, I think, five or four shades of these, and I got the lightest one, but they do go probably to like a medium tone. Um, and there's 25 mils in this bottle, um, and I quite like the product. It's quite nice. Um, it doesn't make me break out. It is really light on the skin. Um, and you can't even feel it if you were to touch your skin. It does not have any SPF in it, unfortunately. Um, but I do actually quite like the product itself. Um, so the second BB cream I picked up, which is the one that was, because this one was on sale, is because they bought out this one. And this is the Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream, suitable for blemished skin. Instantly spotless looking skin. Looks like this. Um, this one is 40 mils. This one was, I think, actually $23 or $24. Um, and if you, if you guys didn't know, the Body Shop has recently reduced their prices by 20% to start matching other companies. So all of this stuff was cheaper than it normally would be. Um, and I got this one in 01, which is the lighter shade. Now, this one is a lot thicker of a BB cream. I'll show you. Um, I'm still trying to get used to how much you actually needed this. So I'll show you what I mean. It is very thick, if you guys can see that. Like, I will take out just a tiny bit, because that is probably all I would need. This is 40 mils, as opposed to 20 mils in the other one. Um, this one is a lot higher coverage. does smell like tea tree, and it has really helped my skin since I've been using it. Again, no SPF, but that is fine. Um, so I'm just going to pop that on top. This one does, like I said, have a much higher coverage to it, so you do not need a lot of product in this one. And it will give you probably, I'd say light to medium coverage, I'd say. But it's definitely a, probably an easy medium coverage if you really used the right amount of product. Like I've only used a very tiny amount. 
and it is still, as you can see, giving me more coverage than that original BB cream. Now it does look a little bit light when I first put it on, but this actually blends out into my skin tone perfectly. It matches really well. Um, we did try, me and the gentleman in the store actually tried 02 on me and it was way too dark. Um, so 01 it was fine for me. Like I said, I does, it does have tea tree oil in it, so it will help with spots. It will help to reduce the redness, it will help to cover that redness, and it will help to treat them. I really like it. It gives me a decent amount of coverage, and it's really nice for everyday wear. It's not oily because it is made for blemish skin, so it does set to a satiny matte type finish, um, as opposed to the all-in-one one, which is a kind of glowy type finish. It does have glowy particles in it which you can't see once they're on their face but you can see on your finger and then that's the coverage that this foundation gives you or with bb cream next i bought two concealers or lastly i bought two concealers so first of all i bought the t2 concealer in zero one um now this is a stick concealer there is 15 grams of product here and this is specifically for blemishes so again I got the lighter shade and it is specifically for blemishes I use it on a little fluffy blending brush and I just apply it to the affected areas of my face it does give good coverage and it really I think helps to heal spots because I found that when I put this on my spots they seem to disappear a lot quicker like so and all I do is I use this little brush, and I'll either put it on my fingers, pop it on, and then blend, or I'll just pop the blush on, brush on, then blend. I have no actual active is it acne therm, it's all scarring, so I don't mind brushing it on. If it was active, I would put it on my finger and dab. Um, again, smells like tea tree oil, um, because it is for acne. It is really nice, it stays on pretty well, it's not too orangey on me, and it has a really, really creamy consistency, and I really like it. And last but not least, the last concealer I got is just the Body Shop Concealer Pencil. And this is their just general concealer that they normally have. Um, and it's just in a pencil form. I also bought the sharpener for this because I have a really tiny one. It's about this big now um, that I leave in my handbag and I just wanted to replace that. Now this is just good for all over concealing. So concealing acne scars, concealing under the eyes, concealing, just putting this on my face and then blending it out with a brush and you will get a very light coverage um, using this as just a base. Even just mixing it with a little bit of moisturizer can just give you a really light base. I'll show you what it looks like under the eyes. Like so. They have really improved this formula since I last used it. Um, when I first bought my pencil, uh, a couple of years, my first one of these, the formula was much drier and really difficult to blend. Um, now it is much easier to blend, much easier to get out of the stick form, and uh, doesn't dry up, which is nice. Like so. So I would use this all over my face, even on blemishes, but. I'm trying out this one to actually see if it helps to heal the blemish. So that is the finished products. That is using all of my brand new products that I bought from the Body Shop. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a comment if you have any video requests. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!